There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to the third past HSC exam question video for the nuclear chemistry chapter. What I'll do first is I'll read the actual question, and I'll give you about five seconds to pause the video, and then in those, when you once you've paused the video, just try to attempt the actual question, and then press play when you're ready. So I'll read the actual question. It says radioisotopes are used in industry, medicine, and chemical analysis. For one of these fields, relate the use of a named radioisotope to its properties. And that's worth three marks. So I'll give you five seconds to pause the video and then attempt the question. Right, I'm back. So for this kind of question, you need to look at the actual verbs. It says, relate the use of a named radioisotope to its properties. Just before you start, just brainstorm what you want to do. Choose a field. Um, in this case, I've chosen medicine. Choose a radioisotope in that field. So you need to have a named one. In this case, I'm going to cover Tachnetium 99 M. Then think about the uses it has and its properties as well. And for this, to get your full marks, you need to actually be able to relate the uses to the properties, so how they're related. So these are the steps you should have done beforehand before you attempt the question and attempt the question and cover these points. So first what I wrote is Tachnetium 99 is used as a radioisotope in the medical sector. That's I've chosen, in this case I've chosen medicine for the medical sector. Then I wrote its main use is to take blood disorders and assess the health of organs. So here I've given kind of its use, which is also important, state its use. And then next sentence I've briefly stated its properties, what properties Tachnetium 99 has. The chemical properties that make Tachnetium 99M suited for, the, for such uses are the following. One, it has a short half-life. Two, it emits weak gamma radiation. Three, it emits photons. Four, forms compounds in the body. And five, is easily excreted. Now this might give you overall one or two marks, but to actually answer the question you need to be able to relate the uses, so how it detects um, blood disorders and assesses health of organs to its properties. So how these properties make it a good radioisotopes for its uses. That's what I'll do next. So what I wrote first is I looked at that first property which is short half-life. The short half-life means that the radioactive isotope spends just enough time in the body to fulfill its purpose but not to harm the body itself. But not enough time to harm the body itself. So that was how that relationship between uses and properties so the use was in checking in the health of organs. The property was it was a short half-life, and it's suitable for the industry because you don't want to harm the body. So if it has a short half-life. It's a good radioactive isotope to use. The second point was it emits weak um, gamma radiation. The second property, and so it also emits weak gamma radiation, which is beneficial as weak radiation is less likely to harm us. So again, that's how another property is good for its use, because if we use one which has strong radiation, that would obviously not be good, good when you put it into our own body. So that's how this property is related to its use. Then I went to the third one, which was it emits photons. Its photon em uh, emitting property is beneficial as it enables us to visible, uh, uh, as it enables us to visible scans, which can be analyzed. Okay, I just wrote that badly, but the main idea of this is just that its photon emitting properties allow us to create these visible scans, which means we can actually analyze it later. So that's what the idea of this one is. That's how its property of emitting photons allowed us to make good scans, which are useful for um, assessing the health of organs. And the fourth property was it forms compounds in the body. The fact that it forms compounds allows technetium to deposit at the organs for long enough to produce a quality scan picture. Right, so it could deposit long enough for it to produce quality scan pictures and then we can see it in the actual scan. We can see the organs because it stays there for a bit. And if it didn't form these compounds that wouldn't be the case. And then last, the fifth one was is easily excreted. Um, it's also easily excreted and removed from the body, a further property that decreases the time spent in the human body. So again, that spent in the human body is we want to have a radioactive isotope which is less likely to harm us and spends 
the minimum time possible in our body, and its property is easily excreted, allows us to spend even less time in the body. Um, now these were some of the actual properties and how they relate to the uses. You will get this is three marks. It's worth three marks. You don't have to mention all five. If you just mentioned two or three, you will get full marks, especially if you've given that introduction earlier. So going for the uses and the properties and then and then combining the uses and properties, that's what will give you your full marks. So the main part of this was combining the uses and relating those to the properties. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.